All right, so today I woke up in the morning and I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw someone using a filter on their face. I thought it was so cute, so I tried it out for myself. In the morning I looked disgusting and I tried it out and it made me look cute. So then I figured, well, why don't I try to recreate that makeup look because it looks so simple. It looks like just a few things. It's mostly just like tons of blush all over, glowing skin, um, and like a deeper lip color and um oh and some freckles all around so i decided to uh go ahead and try and recreate this filter so i'm going through my makeup right now and seeing what i have and i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here which i never really talked about on camera but this is from il maquillage it's a little bit too light for me right now but this foundation is fantastic it covers everything. I feel like this might be my cousin's wedding makeup foundation. She asked me to do her makeup for her, for her wedding and um, I've been testing out all these different foundations and seeing um, how it lasts throughout the day. Obviously, I do need to try it on her because what works on me won't necessarily work on her. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take a pump of this and then I see use the back of the brush like this and kind of just put it everywhere. Yeah, it's too light for me right now, but I'll go in with like bronzer and stuff. Blends out pretty easily. I wish I had a better color match, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm actually a lot more tan than I was when I got color match for this foundation. And when I did get color match for this foundation the first time, um, it was pretty perfect. Yeah, so it gives like a really nice natural looking perfected skin look as you can see my hair kind of looks like a bowl cut right now I just got it cut yesterday and um the photos that I sent her or that I showed her she was like oh yeah I could do that but the thing is our hair textures are so different that my hair just ends up looking like a bowl haircut but I'll show you how I um style it so I'll make it look less like a bowl haircut and add some texture into it next I'm gonna add some powder but not too much because there's still some like um, highlighted spots in the the filter so I'm just gonna add it to where I think I need it most which is like right here down the center of my face maybe a little bit right here because I get kind of greasy right here and this is just the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I think what is it called translucent loose setting powder works really well I feel like it's kind of like the industry standard right now my brush keeps shedding. Is there anything you can do to like prevent that from happening? Do you condition your brushes? Are you supposed to condition your brushes? You know what? Now that I have the powder on, I don't feel like I have to contour as much. Um, huh, so in the field, I thought that for some reason, I thought that um, they put fake eyelashes on you, but I guess they don't. So I pulled out all these fake eyelashes and I guess I don't have to use them. I want to work on my brows real quick, even though in the filter they don't really address the brows. It's just that I haven't greened my brows in a really long time. I sent my tweezers into Tweezerman to get sharpened, and I haven't received it back. It's been a couple months, yo, but yeah, I'm still waiting around. So every time I see like my sister or something like that, I'm like, hey, can you um, bring your tweezers so I can like quickly groom my brows? Um, luckily. I don't have to do them every day, so yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so for brows, this is from Jones Road. It's a, it's called the Brow Pencil. It's freaking thick and I don't have a sharpener for it. So just brush it out. This isn't included in the freaking filter tutorial because they don't work on brows at all, but I just wanted to be a little bit extra. And plus I'm gonna go out and face the day, so I don't wanna be without my brows and a full face makeup. Okay, next, let's work on highlight because I feel like the skin's like super glowy in this. So yeah, under the brow or brow bone right here. This is from Merit Beauty. This is my favorite highlighter and I don't usually even like highlighters. This is Kava. Um, the reason why I don't really go for highlighters is because I feel like my skin's already greasy enough, but this one's pretty great. So I'm going to put this just in the spots right here and then also around the nose. It's a bit more highlighted in the filter, but they do add a quite a substantial amount of blush. So 
I want to wait to do that, but yeah, blend it out. No eyeshadow in this filter, um, so that's pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and put some lipstick on, so I kind of like the matte, darker color that they have. Um, you know what, come to think of it, the outside of the lips is kind of not really defined. So I'm going to try and use the remaining foundation on this brush to kind of have to just fill it in. Okay, and then on to the lip product. I've had this for so long, I've had this for years. So this is from 3CE, I believe, Style Nanda, and it's the color Taupe. Um, it's the Velvet Lip Tint. I've told all my friends about it. When I first discovered it, I bought like so many tubes of it just so I could pass it around to all my friends because I feel like it looks good on everyone, whether you're the fairest of skin or the darkest of skin tones. I've given it to everyone in between and everyone on every spectrum and everyone seems to like it. Mine's so dried out right now. But I also use it on my cheeks, on my like nose, as eyeshadow, everywhere. And I think it's such a fantastic product. It's like a breaky color. Blend it in. Um, I'm actually going to use the same color on my cheeks as well. I feel like in this filter they kind of like over exaggerated everything. So let's see. Yeah, so it's like a little bit higher up like this. It's so cute. That might have been a little bit too much. Okay, so cheeks and then also a little bit on the nose. I'm gonna do a touch on the eyelids even though I don't think there's any eyelid color on that. And then I'm gonna put on some freckles. This is the Freck Noir Original Freckle. I think this is the darker color of the ones that they have. And this is like the big version, the XL version. So, oh yeah, so these freckles are a bit darker than um, what they, their original formula, which is great for me because right now I don't feel like the freckles are gonna show up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some on randomly. I mean, I think that's about it, but I feel like I'm not doing enough on my eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and add on some fake lashes, which I've never done before. I don't think I even know how to apply lashes. I watched like a few videos, so maybe from just watching videos I can figure it out, but hmm, let's just try it because I feel like it might be fun. So I have some lashes from this brand called Leith, L-I-T-H-E. I know that you're supposed to cut them. Oh, and then also I saw I saw in a video that you're supposed to kind of like bend the band like this, but I feel like this one's pretty gentle already. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and whisper. Just kidding. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm gonna pass on this because I feel like it just makes it a little bit too much for every day. Um, I feel like this might be great for like photographs or like a wedding or something like that, but for me, yeah, it's just too much. I don't really even feel like this look needs mascara, but I'm just gonna apply some because I have some here. So this one is from Merit Beauty. It's just like a natural looking lengthening eyelash or mascara. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and work on my hair. So since my hair is, when it's shorter like this, for some reason it just kind of loses all its texture, especially after I wash it too. So it kind of just looks like, not what I want it to look like. I want it to look like Chloe 70, you know, like um, PC hair. So I'm gonna apply some of this Undone Volume Matte Texture Spray. I actually already have a little bit of product in my hair from last night. I put on the matte texture, it's called Grit, also from Amika. I talked about it in my favorites video last month. You know, I feel like I can still do better, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some water. 
And then put some beach spray. This is Bushwick Beach, also from Amika. Um, and when it comes to these pieces right here, I'm just gonna use some grit. Grit is great for if you like the second day hair, you know? Um, I'll just use a little bit of that. I'll put it in my hair. Yeah, I guess that's about it. What do you guys think? Do I look like the filter? What would you have done different or the same? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.